Starting at age 53, I went from 40% body fat to 20% body fat. Not only that, but I also increased my lean body mass and I became stronger and fitter than ever before in my life. I accomplished this without any potions, pills, or injections of any kind, only with one meal a day, or OMAD for short. This is because of the effects of OMAD on my own endogenous growth hormone. In this video, I'm going to tell you my secrets for increased vitality, fitness, and perhaps even longevity. I believe that anyone can change their lives, whether they are 70 or 20, using one meal a day. Hello everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento. Through my early years of OMAD, I noticed an increase in my endurance and a strange and newfound love for workouts. Early on, I thought that the push-up pyramid routine was making me strong fast. But there was one more secret hidden behind my OMAD regimen I could not have known back then. And that secret was an increase in growth hormone secretion. Here is my own single feeding cycle. The green color represents satiety and the red color represents hunger. To be clear, I'm including a representation in dark blue for my sleeping hours and in bright yellow for my wake hours. Keep in mind that if you decide to follow one meal a day or OMAD method, you will need to reach 21 days of consecutive OMAD days. If you do, you will make the metabolic switch permanent. Only then would you experience the feeling of satiety all day long. My hunger is limited to two hours before my OMAD because I have adjusted my ghrelin. Now I don't even talk about food before 10 a.m. This is part of my adaptation to OMAD that takes only 21 days. Here is my daily routine. Briefly, I eat in the late morning, I work in the afternoon, I go to bed at about 10.30 and I wake up to do my workout in the morning during the late stages of my fasting. It turns out that going to bed on an empty stomach is beneficial for our health. Growth hormone release starts when we fall asleep. However, Glucose and amino acids from our food suppress our growth hormone release. So the farther away in time we are from our food intake when we go to bed, the more likely it is that growth hormone secretion will begin at bedtime. Even in healthy humans, insulin inhibits growth hormone release, and insulin is high during the fed state. This is why, during the fed state, growth hormone cannot be measured. Fasting removes that inhibition and growth hormone is released. By the time morning comes, there is a second peak in growth hormone that may be interrupted by breakfast. Delaying breakfast to after a workout may turn to promote human growth hormone activity. The benefits of human growth hormone are multiple. Early in the morning, when our sugar is low, growth hormone increases production of glucose in the liver. To accomplish this, the liver uses non-carbohydrate sources like amino acids from muscle and fatty acids from our body fat. You may say that the liver makes us breakfast. Then glucose is released into the bloodstream. Even while fasting, our blood glucose levels are maintained at a safe level. We really don't need breakfast for energy. This process is called gluconeogenesis. Human growth hormone helps increase the mobilization of fat from our body fat so that it can be used for the production of energy. This helps make the metabolic switch. Human growth hormone indirectly spares the muscle and protein that could otherwise be used for energy. But the human growth hormone also promotes muscle mass growth that increases strength and performance. 
Together with routine workouts, growth hormone helps increase vitality with age. Young men may perform better in the gym and look better in the swimming pool. Keeping human growth hormone levels high will prevent changes common among aging men, including decreased lean body mass, expansion of adipose tissue mass, and thinning of skin of old age. High-intensity interval training also promotes growth hormone. By the time I start my workouts, I am already in the late fasting period. But is this late fasting period the best time to be doing exercise? By the 20th hour of my fasting, my glycogen stores have been long depleted. Then, the mobilization of fat becomes my main source of energy. I have been doing my workouts in deep fasting and I have found an increase in performance and endurance. Using fat stores for energy has two great benefits. Number one, fat stores are progressively decreased and number two, energy becomes abundant because the fat metabolism is much more efficient than the glucose metabolism. The need for food before working out is a fallacy. The physical changes in my body composition may result from growth hormone triggered by fasting or training or both. Growth hormone administration, however, may not result in improved muscle strength and function. These are the result of my resistance and endurance training. These benefits come from real effort. Growth hormone administration results in increased lean body mass and decreased fat mass in older persons. However, the effects on muscle strength and physical performance are not consistent. There has been a lot of interest in administration of growth hormone to increase longevity, but results so far have been disappointing, with few documented benefits and many troublesome side effects. Undoubtedly, the best approach to growth hormone secretion for longevity and vitality is the natural approach. OMAD induces a combination of the metabolic switch and growth hormone secretion. This combination seems to prevent the muscle atrophy and muscle weakness so common in age 60 and beyond. In my case, I'm more inclined to exercise than ever before, and my performance has been surprising, especially for me. Contrary to popular belief, OMAD has made me stronger and more muscular than even in my 20s. Whatever your age, I believe you can change your life by improving your health and your fitness with intermittent fasting in general and OMAD in particular. This is Juan Sarmiento reminding you that life is looking up. Thank you for joining me in this video and may I ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the appropriate button below. Once you have done so, also click on the bell so you are notified of all future videos coming up on this channel. In addition, if you enjoyed the video and find it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Help me spread the good news about OMAD by sharing this video with your family and friends. Thank you.